Continuing our coverage tonight on the homeless situation in Pueblo. It seemed like a done deal. The city ready to purchase a pair of buildings for the next homeless shelter until it wasn't. Now the news has the homeless community concerned about the winter months fastly approaching. News 5 Sam Kramer sitting down with some of those folks today live in our Pueblo studio right now with more Sam. Yeah, the Pueblo Community Soup Kitchen is one of the last remaining resources for those experiencing homelessness. And for people that do rely on these meals, they tell me they're devastated by the city's shelter plans falling through. Enchiladas, rice, and more. It's the kind of food that warms your soul. But the meal at the Pueblo Community Soup Kitchen may soon be the lone sense of warmth for Pueblo's homeless community. Some of these folks are, are they're just not going to make it in this cold weather. Many of the kitchen's diners are homeless and had hopes of being out of the cold this winter. To know that my mom and my mom would not know that I was freezing cold, so baby, bro. It touched my heart. What are the two or three hundred people who are homeless in this town going to do other than just be chased around everywhere? The city estimates around 80 people are homeless and in the cold every night. Still, John Tompkins, who's experienced homelessness for almost two years, says the shelter optimism wasn't so much about being warm, but being safe. We move every two or three nights just to stay out of harm's way. But there's no place for us to stay. There's no place. As the city continues its search for both short and long-term solutions, those in need hope they find something and fast. It will upbring, uh, meaning it will better their lives as far as they have something to look forward to. Now, City Council did have plans to vote on that purchase tonight, again, before that deal fell through. There's no update on an alternative solution just yet. But meanwhile, if you'd like to help the soup kitchen continue its operations, that information was going to be posted on the News 5 app. Always watching out for you, Pueblo. I'm Sam Kramer, News 5. Thanks for the update, Sam.